hello everyone welcome to the trainer tutorial in this video we will discuss about how you can create ios bundle id for your application this ios bundle identifier will be required when you want to upload your application on apple store account so first thing you will need to have your apple store account purchased and after that only we will be able to create ios bundle id under that account so for me I already have it created here for myself so to open it we will go to developer.apple.com and then we will go to account menu here and then under the account menu on the left hand side we have a certificates IDs and profile menu so we'll click on it and under that I'll go to the identifiers and under the identifiers click on this plus button after clicking on the plus button there are multiple options here so currently we are creating application identifier so we just need to select the app ids if it is not selected by default and then continue here we need to select the application option which is by default selected again continue and then at this point we will need to provide our bundle identifier description which can be anything for your identification purpose so let's give it a name trainer demo id and then the actual ID here so the actual ID here as they have mentioned here as an example it could be something like this like com dot domain dot domain name dot app name so for me as well what I am doing here com dot twinner is my domain name dot for my, if my application is for example e-commercely then I'll do it like this now if you don't have a domain name specifically or your application name and the domain name are similar then you can just use it like this as well that's completely up to you okay so i'll keep it like this for now make sure to select explicit here we don't need a wildcard so that's also one of the thing and then here we have some options for capabilities so if in your application you have enabled push notification then you will need to find out the push notification here here it is and just need to select it that you want to enable push notification for this application after selecting the push notification option we are done with that and we just need to click on the continue verify all the information that your bundle id and everything is perfect there is no typo and everything right and if the push notification is enabled then the push notification option must be selected here as well after that register it and done and then you just need to copy this identifier and then go to twinner builder and add that here and that's it update it perfect so next time when you will request a new build it will use this identifier to prepare your build so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one thank you